Hello everybody, this is the Grandpa Deckard Show and I welcome you. Today I'm starting a, a series entitled Faith Adventures and this one today is about God's provision. During our 50 plus years of marriage, Jean and I have seen God provide for us many times in desperate situations and sometimes in unusual ways. In 1986, we moved to Israel from our Indiana home, and along with our son Joshua, five, and daughter Karen, nine months. And uh, after living in one apartment for a year, it became necessary for us to move to another. We were being funded monthly by Jean's dad. In order to get visas to stay in Israel, we had to be either in school, studying, or working. The first year I studied Hebrew in a uh, Israeli-run language school. We had no plans of leaving Jerusalem in the near future, and so I needed a job. In short, I got a job at the Anglican school as a carpenter. It would be a few days before getting my first paycheck. Meanwhile, we had no money. We spent all we had in securing our new apartment. No money, no food, and we were hungry. Well, we prayed. God answered. Soon after Walking through the door, I opened the refrigerator, like this, and it was full of food. Well, that's great, huh? Thing is, it wasn't our food. It belonged to the previous tenant. Got her phone number and gave her a call and asked when she would be coming by to get her food. And she replied, Oh, Jim, said, I have been so sick, I don't even want to think about food. She says, you eat it. Well, we did just that. It took uh, just a few days and it was all gone. And uh, we were hungry all over again. Our new place had three balconies, and one of them was partly enclosed and we had a large cabinet in there. I opened a big drawer in that cabinet and got a big surprise. I found potatoes. Well, there was more than one. There was a whole drawer full of them. And it was great. We were so excited. So we had, we ate the next few days uh, potatoes before our, my first check would arrive. And so we had fried potatoes, we had baked potatoes, we had mashed potatoes, three times a day, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. And I don't remember anybody ever complaining about it. Uh, when the first, or when the last, rather, bite of potato was down the hatch, my first paycheck arrived. Jesus said, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. And by the way, I never did get tired of potatoes. I still like them. All right, well, God bless you, and hope to see you again real soon.